Hey, what is up you guys? It is Wright and we are back in Destiny doing a rundown video of an exotic that many of you may know of. Um, came out in the Dark Below DLC and that is the Rune Wings. Now, exotic gauntlets as I said. Um, I was going to run over the perks real quick and talk about what exactly is offered with this piece of gear and what makes it so worthwhile. To me, honestly, it's a very, very good set of gear uh, for obvious reasons, but just a little rundown of the perks. We have Special Weapon Loader, increases reload speed of all special weapons, which works really well with any weapon that gives itself bonuses to reload. Um, your Impact Induction, now this one actually is very, very, very good. Now you can see it's strength, I have 100% because of it, I have like 300 uh, uh, strength right now, but what this perk does is that causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown, and that's normally the perk will say um, killing an enemy with a melee. This one is causing damage, which means that every time you punch an enemy, even if you don't have your override available, it will reduce the cooldown, and I want to say it takes about just starting from using your grenade it takes about maybe six or so hits to fully regain your grenade which is a very very nice benefit it makes it very easy to have grenades all the time using these um gauntlets because you can have your melee override available at any given time and thus be doing a lot of meleeing and also have your discipline not have to be as high because you're still getting grenades now what makes this, what makes Rune Rings Rune Wings is its special perk, the Seeds of Ruin. Heavy drops, or heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. Now, in my experience, this perk, when it works, it is fantastic. When it does not, you can't really tell. I mean, I've gone many, many a, uh, strike um, rate going through with these things on and just regular patrol and been loaded covered in heavy ammo synthesis as you can see other times I've gone through and it's taken me until the end of an event to even get a single pack I don't know if it is just the nature of the heavy ammo drop itself or something with the gloves but they are prone to not always work in terms of increasing the drop rate of your heavy ammo. And honestly, what I've found is that if you just simply take it, switch to another, and then switch back, that will usually reset it and make it to where it will start dropping more heavy ammo more often. That usually does it for me, but normally I just play as I go and then see what happens, and usually it picks up, but... Um, that honestly is the main issue that I have with it. The other half of it, the more ammo per drop, is what really makes this piece of gear shine. Now, as you can see, I have my rocket launcher here, no ammo. On a normal drop of that size, one of the larger ones, I would get about two rockets in the clip. As you can see, I just received four. So, and of course I have raid boots on, so I have, um, I'm going to have increased, um, heavy weapon ammo, naturally, because of the nature of the boots, but to go from about two rounds in a clip, or having a one clip ready to go, to having a clip and a clip in reserve, makes this a very 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 useful piece of gear simply because you can it allows you to more effectively utilize and <laughs> one might even argue over utilize your heavy weapons from the simple fact that you can sit here and even if you do not get a large amount of heavy ammo from your drops normally the heavy ammo you get will have much more in them in order for you to um, use your heavy ammo or heavy weapon more often. So 
if you if you're using class, you know, using good weapon where you want to really have your heavy weapon out a lot, good exotics, you know, Thunderlord, Gallerhorn, Yellerhorn, G Horn, whatever, uh, truths such as that. These these gloves are phenomenal for that. In that, not only does it when it works, not only does it allow you to have um, a higher chance of getting heavy ammo, but you also have a higher drop rate of heavy ammo, or I guess larger package of ammo available to you when you receive heavy ammo. So, I mean, even if you don't get as many, I mean, see, I only got three there that time, but when you normally have one and two a clip for getting heavy ammo, that can mean a major difference in terms of your um, damage capabilities as a character. But... Honestly, these gloves, I love these gloves. I do not have the good fortune of having a um, set of armamentarium personally, so I find myself a little bit um, lacking in that department, but I find that these gloves make for a very, very excellent armamentarium substitute in that they allow me, normally with armamentarium you have um, increased ammo and such with that heavy ammo, but um, with you don't get the benefit of the grenade, but I feel like these gloves make up for it in get away. That you have your melees boosting your grenades anyway, so you're going to be giving a lot of grenades anyway. So it would it's still easy for you to not be lacking in all facets of your combat with your Titan by having these gloves. You have more strength, more override, more discipline allowing from your strength, allowing you to throw more grenades, and you have more heavy ammo which will help you greatly increase your damage capabilities. So overall, fantastic set of gauntlets in my opinion. And of course, they look absolutely fantastic. They have the problem of the MK44s in that they do not change color from the silver that they have. They're one of many sets of exotics that do not change color, which is a topic of my own of disappointment, but it's something I can easily overlook. But, in all honesty, despite not really matching with anything, they make, ooh, double engram, they make for being able to plan around. Because I just, I normally run any kind of shader with it that I, I personally like and that I don't have to worry about it, but also, wonderful Destiny fan, um, fashion tips, but anyway, that is that is my views on the um, the Arun Wings. In my opinion, probably one of the best, uh, yeah, I'd probably say one of the best exotics for the Titan to come out from the DLC, and probably arguably one of the best kind of neutral sets of gear for the Titan in terms of just general gameplay and not being aligned to a specific... A subclass of any kind. It's a very versatile, very good overall kind of piece of gear that will allow you to be very defensive, very strong in terms of supporting your fire team. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, check out our other videos and reviews. As always, though, I am right, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.